and so become involved say what you need to say and make a difference thank you any questions from the audience please public can come up give your name and your address so that the candidates know who they're talking to thank you for running my name is Deb Nowicki I've served on the budget committee for the last two years my question is this how would you rate the job that the budget committee has done over the last two years if you were giving a report card I would ask you what is one of the greatest accomplishments that you feel we've achieved and where do you feel maybe something different or more efficient could have been done by the budget committee going forward thank you mr. Lakers what why I gotta go first for that one would you like to defer if somebody else wants to go first? Well, I'd probably give you a B. I, I think you've done a good job. And, and I generally like to see, when you see how the votes came in, that you all agreed. You, you don't see a lot of, like, five to two, two to, and all of that stuff. Uh, I'd like to be a little bit more informed as a taxpayer what some of the stuff is. I mean, there's just some stuff on that as you go through budgets and there's jobs and other things. There's a lot of miscellaneous other I'd like to know what the miscellaneous and other is <laughs> I mean that's that's one of my big things Ms. Whittemore I think I would give you a strong B because um, I've come back into the town budget process here after a time away uh, working at the State House and um, what I have approved of I mentioned before was the um, tax increment financing which I asked about back in the 70s and that is to not expect the town of Londonderry to carry the burden for a tax for a bond that covers three or four years but rather let's carry that bond only for the amount of the 18 months and save that uh, interest considerable interest payments the other thing is uh, running the reserve accounts within the operating system itself is just an, a very intelligent way to do it I've also noticed that w the taxpayers really been protected by the use of um, the undesignated funds um, at the end of the year and and I see an item after item that the costs of major capital outlays have been defrayed because the budget committee uh, and the, because the town council built a budget that had some of these uh, methods in it not to curry favor but I'd give you an A minus to B plus <laughs> um, and I, it reminds me of the Groucho line I wouldn't want to be the member of any club that would want me for a member so <laughs> you know part of the reason that I, I think I'd, I have interest in being uh, on the budget committee, is, it has excellent people and people who have given um, public service in the past and continue to do so. Um, I think that the, uh, the, the difficulty that voters have with the budget committee is they go into the ballot box and, and they look and they look at the ballot and it says, you know, recommended 7 to 1 or 8 to 0. There are two things that a, that a voter looks at. They're going to say, I'm going to vote for the, the lower number automatically, or they're going to say, well, we have eight citizens who have run for office to look out for our best interests, even though it's a little higher, I'm going to vote for them. Either way, I think the role of a budget committee member is the same, is to make those numbers as low as possible and to trim the disparity as, as, as much as you can. Um, I think that the town has made some tough decisions and some things that, frankly, I'd, I'd like to see have done differently, but I recognize the financial need. One of the things that um, came up recently that I was discussing with somebody is the, the, the police accreditation. Um, former Chief Ryan was going to stay on and be the, uh, in charge of police accreditation. That was something that is beneficial for the town, I think, in the long run, for liability purposes and, and a whole host of other reasons, attracting police candidates. But when you have citizens who can't pay their taxes because they're unemployed, I think that that's one thing that hopefully can be put off to another day. So I think that there are tough decisions, Deb, that you and the other members have recommended and that the town council has undertaken, and I applaud you for it. And that's part of the reason that I would give you high marks. Next, please. Any other questions? Um, okay.